It's time for Legal Talk with Kansas City Spotlight. Here's your host, Lauren Scott. With COVID still here and flu season right around the corner, a common topic that comes up when talking about medical care is hospital and doctor charges. I'm Lauren Scott, your host for Legal Talk, and today I'm joined by Brown and Crouppen lawyer Andrea McNary to tell us what we need to know when it comes to hospital stays. Hi, Andrea. How's it going? Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Okay, so I want to give you a hypothetical situation. Let's say I'm walking, I slip, fall, hit my head, and I have to stay in the hospital overnight. What are the overcharges when it comes to that? So there's a couple different things we're talking about when we're talking about hospital overcharges. Mm -hmm. One is someone who is uninsured, who is charged a different amount than someone who actually has insurance, or two, someone who is charged for services they didn't consent to and or receive. Okay, now let me give you another hypothetical question. What if I don't wanna pay? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that is the question. Yeah. So you have to pay okay. if you consented and you received the service. But if you did not or you suspect you didn't, um, there are a couple different things that you can do. So what do you do if you suspect that you're being overcharged? So first of all, you're going to ask the hospital for an itemization. Mm -hmm. If you suspect you're overcharged, you're going to ask the hospital billing department to do an audit. Um, finally, ask your doctor to, you know, did I actually receive this service? Do you remember consenting to the service? And then whether you did or you didn't, whether it's a legitimate debt or not, you wanna ask the hospital for a self-paid discount or um, for a discount for services you did not receive. Okay, so if you are overcharged, can you sue the hospital? You can, so there's an, uh, lawyers that make an entire practice out of that. So if you suspect you're overcharged and you haven't made any headway with the hospital, you know, definitely reach out to one of these lawyers who deal with hospital billing um, regularly. They can either negotiate that debt for you or if necessary, file a lawsuit. All right, well, if people want to learn more or get in touch with you, Andrea, how can they do that? Andrea M at getbc.com or brownandcroupen.com. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. This Kansas City Spotlight has been paid for by Brown and Crouppen. For more information, visit brownandcroupen.com.